Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a Motorola phone lot that I picked up on Macari, if I remember right. Now I don't plan on keeping all these, to be honest with you, because there's a lot. Here is a Motorola. I should know these by... I remember I've had so many of them. I just clipped my fingernails, so naturally. This is a Motorola W755 on Verizon. I've seen it had the cracked front display. Uh, sticky soft touch all over it. Seems to be dead. Here is a... Motorola, I think I have one of these that needs a speaker, so it'll probably be a parts phone. Uh, W385 on Verizon as well. Has the sticky soft touch all over it. This battery is a little bulged up. Front display looks good. Inner display looks good. There's no power keypad, looks nice though. There's that one. Here we have a Motorola V3. No SIM card, no battery. Front LCD and glass is shattered. Inner LCD is broken. You see the discoloration there. Um, this is on Viera Wireless. A lot of these are on Viera. That's why I bought this lot, to be honest. It's kind of popular up in where I live here in Kansas. Motorola W230. Busted LCD. Does have a battery. Uh, there's the number there. That you can see on the back there. So, um, No SIM card. No SD card. Yeah, SD card slot. I almost thought it was dual SIM for a second. But it's, not, it's in a purple color. It's different. Kind of matches the W755 over there. Here's a Motorola K1. This is on Vero as well. Does have a battery. There's the number, no SIM, no SD, which I'll have to see if I can find some SIMs on eBay maybe. Uh, cracked front display LCD looks good though. This is the blue color. Um, inner screen's pretty scratched up, but the LCD looks fine. Here is a Motorola. Let's see, let me get this off. Z6. I should know that, to be honest with you. They make a few different versions of this, and it just kind of throws me off. No SIM or SD card. The front display, I think. It looks good to me. It just almost looked broken for a minute, but it's got the blue keyboard. Pretty rough shape. You see the plastic's broken on it. Sticky. Don't think I've seen that design before on the back. It's different. Here's another V3 on Viero with a battery. This looks to be a parts phone. It is completely damaged. Hinges broken, taped. Front screen is busted. Inside screen is busted too. You can see the line down here at the bottom. Hinges. Does rattle too. So yeah, parts phone which is fine. Here is another V3. I'm guessing on Viero. Uh, no SIM, no back cover. LCD looks good. Front one looks good, just scratched up. Here's a battery. Vero V3 again with the battery. No SIM. LCD looks good. Looks good in here. Keyboard looks really nice on this one. A little dent on the two, but. Here is a W510. 
No back cover, no sim. LCD looks good. Has a protector over the keypad, so the keypad's probably in good shape as long as it didn't discolor through that. Here's another one of these that we just had. I think it was the... I forgot already. W510. No SIM card. Water damaged. This is in the purple color. Keypad's not in the best of shape compared to the other one. This looks to be like a T-Mobile phone, maybe. LCD looks good on both of them. Uh, here is another W755. No SD card. This is on Verizon. It does not have a cracked screen. Or, oh, there is back to the camera. A cracked front lens. The LCD looks good, but dirty. No power. Kind of stack these up. On what they are. Another one of the W755s. This one doesn't feel like it has a battery. So it does not. Uh, LCD looks good on both of them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to sell some of my phones. I got some I need to get rid of. And I really don't know of a way to do it, so I will maybe start posting a few on eBay. See how that goes. Maybe on Macari. Here's a K1. No SIM, no SD. It does have a battery, though. This is on Vero as well. Back cover's not in the best of shape. The front isn't cracked. The LCD is cracked. You can see right down from the M downwards. There you go. So I'm going to need LCD, but this front cover might go on that other one. Oh, we just had one of these that I forgot the number again. Another W755. Uh, this is a W385. This one doesn't have a carrier branding. Screens look good. Yeah, looks good. Sticky as well. Here's another one in really poor shape. Really disgusting too. Definitely been used a little bit. Got the little rubber coming off the keypad. Uh, oh, it's just a bank, so I don't care if y'all see that. Make sure it's a phone number or something. Address. There's under there. It does have a battery at least. As you guess, probably dead as well. We'll check. It is. I think it was oh. ZS6. See, I mean, they're always different. Has a different design on the back with a monster sticker on there. Uh, missing the front D pad. Pretty typical. This one has the little, some of these, I think someone asked me about these little nubs. And this is factory. They're supposed to have them. All of them have them. And they're supposed to be able to slide up easier. Um, Keep it on this looks really good. The inner one at least. No battery. There's another one of these 755s. No battery, no SD. LCD looks good. Hinge on this one is really stiff. That's because it looks like it is broken. Indeed it is. CD looks good, maybe, but with a broken hinge, it probably has a damaged ribbon cable. Wouldn't be much good. Here's another K1. The K1 and K1M. The K1 does not have the media controls, the touch sensitive media controls. The K1M does, the K1 does not. Easy tell on them. SD and SimGon does have a battery. Uh, it wasn't cracked either. Though. It is. Yep, it does have a crack. Actually, a few of them. I didn't even notice them. 
right across there this one hasn't fully finished but it is there LCD looks good on this one I think there's some scratches but I don't think they're cracks no power on it is missing a little center d-pad button here's another v3 with the battery no sim like I said I do not need this many razors I have enough as it is I've kind of cut down on some anyways as it is and I don't need any more really dirty oh really dirty here it looks like might just be the paint wearing no power this one looks like some kind of water damage I don't even look at the indicator no, it doesn't look like it. Sometimes they get like this from just moisture, if like Florida, the humidity, they'll do that. Uh, let's go to this one. This is a Vera Wireless. This is a, I got a T-Mobile SIM in it. W510. No water damage. T-Mobile SIM on Vero. Keypad on this one looks good as well. Actually, it looks really good. But I even have the cover over it. Screen looks good. This one looks alright too. Let's see, there's another one of them, so I kind of keep track of them. Nope, that looks to be it. Here is a. I might even do a drop test on this because I haven't seen one. I'm kind of curious on it. I already have one of these. So this one, as you see, is broken already. Cracked. Looks like it's missing a chrome piece on there. This is the uh, Crave, I think, if I remember right. ZN4, no battery. It is on Verizon. And this is a touchscreen. And then this actually is the earpiece, but it has um, some kind of cable that you really can't tell, like a transparent ribbon cable or something. It's pretty cool. But this one has definitely seen better days. Ooh, that battery. Ooh nice and dent in it probably we'll just toss this one won't even risk charging it kind of see the ending right there uh, another z6 missing the front keypad keyboard seen better days it's designed on the back with the monster looking one with we'll that over there uh, w385 no battery this one has no carrier front lcd looks good is sticky and our LCD looks good keypad looks as good as well and then another one no battery water damage indicators are both red uh, here is a W376G with the SIM card but it is water damaged marked IMI number on it the LCD looks good. This one I think just has lights if I remember right that light up. Um, no battery or back cover, which I might have one. The back cover from when I had one of these back in the, in the time. I think I threw it away, but I kept the battery and back cover because I didn't have the SIM card for it. I think I did a drop test on it. W510, no SIM, does have a battery. I do have some more videos coming today too, so stay tuned for those. This is a black and orange, so this is the first black one. Two grays and a purple. Um, LCD looks good, I think. It does. Front one's really scratched up, but it looks good. No power, because it's probably dead. Another W755, really the soft touch is just getting kind of crazy right now. I think I already have like two of these to be honest with you. So I'll probably just throw these up on a lot separately. There's a screw inside of the speaker. Which doesn't look to go to this phone because they're all there. Here is a K1M because this has the touch sensitive buttons. This is probably on Verizon because it's red. No, S, uh, no SIM card. Or no SD card. My bad. That was right first time does have the battery cover for an extended battery. It would be cool if I could sand this off and like polish this aluminum. That would be cool. You can kind of see where it's shining through. Uh, front cracked. The front uh, glass is cracked. The LCD 
really hard to see, but it looks good. The inner one looks good as well. Keypad, really yellowy, not surprising. Definitely seen some better days up here on the chin part of it. Lastly is another V3 with a cracked uh, front glass here. Some pretty decent gouges on it. LCD looks good. Keypad's pretty yellow. It is on singular, no battery. You see it is a V3. No SIM card either. Well, hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned for the next one.